But for heaven's sakes, we're using this. <laughs> is this up? Is this upside down? <laughs> Hmm. You guys see what's wrong with this? <laughs> with this label? <laughs> can you see it? I can. It's dark as shit. <laughs> How are you supposed to? I can barely make the difference. Okay, I can see the line over there. I can see the line over there. I can see this. But what the hell is this? <laughs> I can't see anything with that. Then I can barely see the lines of that. Ah, uh, this was always a mess. Opening it. Done. Oh god, the smell. Okay, it seems like we actually need to turn the box back. Well, whatever. I got a brilliant plan. Watch this, you see. Flip the box. This case costs, what's that in US? It's 25 US for this thing. Uh, this is a distro, if anybody cares. I don't. <laughs> anyway, the reason I, I bought this is because I want something remotely modern. My case has been with me since, I don't know, since I got my first PC. That's about five years, I think. Okay, these are actual tempered glass. I'm actually scared as shit now. Do we got fans? <gasps> they give us fans! <laughs> I'm so happy seeing fans inside that thing. Should probably use the light because black case. Well, tons to hide details. That is a really weird back mesh. It's like striped. And that's not camera, it's a fact that it's actually striped. Two circulation fans, there we go. But you're gonna put a parcel like here, so. Unless you face it the other way around, which is the wrong way. It's not gonna fit, so... Can you actually mount a 360? But I'm pretty sure it can fit a 240, no problem. 120, don't even ask. Oh. Oh, you can see me. That's kind of disturbing. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Let's put this aside, shall we? Screw set. That's a 120 exhaust. That is a 240mm exhaust. And it has a mesh, I believe I can just remove this, right? Yeah, you can just slide it, it's a magnetic mesh. Hey, look, the magnets doesn't fall off. Gee, I remember seeing a review where the magnets fell off. I wonder which manufacturer is that. And the front panel. It comes with three pre-installed fans, but I have no idea what color it is. It's probably one color. Front I.O. That's not front I.O., that's the cables for the... How are you supposed to say it? Turn on computer, turn off computer, reset computer, show computer if it's operating or not. <laughs> USB 3, HD audio, nobody should use that, and USB 2. Okay, this is weird. This one's an X pattern. You can see the X pattern now. The problem is if you put fans here, they won't do anything. <laughs> if the power supply is here, where the hell are you going to get to get the air from? Probably from here, which goes down here, and it can go here. Is there anything special about this one? Hmm. Oh. It's a swivel. Oh, it's not a swivel. Wait, it is a swivel. What the fuck? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would just pop off. So far, I enjoy it. Time to build the PC into here. Now, I'm confused on where the 3.2 drives are gonna be. I only have one, so that's not a big of an issue, but the advertisement says two. Is this a is this a drive bay? Seriously? Only one? I mean, it's a non-issue now, but in the future, maybe. So, the question is, what the fuck is the other one? I'm gonna need to Google this up, hold on. I was supposed to screw it down here? What? Why, why would you screw a drive down here? And the two SSDs are over here. Okay, sure, whatever then. The thing is, we can remove this and not use it. And basically gives this a free reign full air. That is a tiny gap. Now I just put in the IO shield. Why do you... Ah! Okay, now time to test the fans. Three, two, one. Ah! That blue really stings the eye. Okay, now, did they move a lot of air? Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
This is a lot of it. <laughs> okay, I can feel the air until at least here-ish. I put the front cover on. It's gone. What if I clamp it in? That's just stale air. I like the idea of the filters, but... I can't feel the air here, and I can just feel it here. Seems like we still need to do a bit of modding. The designs of this case are screaming, No, what are you doing? It's really my beautiful design. To which I say, Well, fuck your design. It can't give me any air. Oh, oh I missed one. Right. Mesh layer removed. Let's see how this fares now. Hmm. I feel absolutely bugger off. They're just way too close to the to the front. Okay, what if I commit a sin and just move the fan to the background? I can't fit the screw from underneath. Are you seriously telling me I <laughs> I basically use a screw that's smaller than this to basically go and screw on the case? What? <laughs> I'm confused with this thing. Yeah, that is how you make it. What the fuck? Okay. The nice. idea is you do this and then you just screw it there and then hopefully it just locks on. I think we have just four. Okay. So if you lose one, we're screwed. Right, so this means I have to use one of these. How are you supposed to do that? No idea. Maybe this will help. Maybe it'll be too short. Who knows? And it's too short. No, it's just right. Thank you. Do you realize something? Yeah, I did realize my mistake. This was the wrong way. I ah. Okay. Through the magic of editing, you don't see anything wrong, and I saw it perfectly the first time. Everything else is considered invalid. Good. Fans installed. All that time just to install fans because I'm confused on how to install a goddamn fan. Now oh, the front fans. Oh, this is fucking great. Are these four screws? Oh no! Great move! Big brain! Amazing! Well done! My IQ needs some work. It should be good enough. Give it a try. Kinda the same shit, but I can feel the air move a bit further. Oh well, hopefully it's enough, because I'm not modifying that shit anymore. Now comes the fun part. Screwing the motherboard without making craters. What are the chances of me making craters on this motherboard, huh? Oh, I'd say pretty goddamn high. Ow! Are there different types of the same screw? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I can't get the screw up. <sighs> Guess we need to release all the fucking screws we just put in then. If you're wondering what the hell happened, the stand up fell off. Yep, it just completely detached. How the fuck did it happen? No idea. I already tied in that thing up to eternity. <sighs> right, let's re screw this and not use the wrong screw type. Fuck me. Where the fuck did the screw go? I can hear a clang and I just know that the screw just, just, just gave up the. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Come on. I know the screw fell out, but where is it? Fuck. I hate this part of PC building so much. Of finding that one screw that just decides to say, yep, bye, I'm out. And then you hear it getting locked, but you can't find a goddamn shit. Where the hell do you think the screw is? I think it's fucking gone. Man, no. fuck me, I couldn't find the screw. I had to cross check all the screws I'm using now. And why I'm doing this? Because this thing isn't magnetic and I don't have a magnetic screw screwdriver. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, don't force that. I think this is the wrong thread. So I'm guessing those screws are originally used for the fans, but... Yeah, nope. <laughs> I am really taking my time with this build, aren't I? We are so close, yet so far. Shit. I would put it over there, but there is no mounting space for that. How hard is it to install a goddamn screw? Now, 
I lost two screws. We're almost there. <laughs> See, once your case is set up, it's relatively quick. But when your case isn't set up, it's a pain in the ass. Me relocating the fans to the back doesn't help that. I thought this would be a quick 30 minutes build. But no, this is just way, 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 way longer because I want to move the fan. This graphics card is an RX for 78 gigabytes. Guess when I guess how much I buy this for? And very cheap, like 80 US chip. Probably like 80 to 100, depending on how you count it. It is criminally cheap. If I, if I carry that shit out, I'll probably get murdered because someone wants a graphics card. How the hell am I supposed to remove this? Okay, I can remove the bottom one easily. I can't remove the top one that easy. God damn. Okay. If we open this thing up. No, we have enough. Okay, cool. Uh, one, one screw is enough to handle a GPU this big. I don't understand why AMD sends a mixed message of just like, Okay guys, we're releasing FSR. Hooray. However, we are stopping GCN support. What? <laughs> They're stopping GCN1 support? You do know these cars are still being sold, right? Like the, what, R7 350s, etc. They're still being sold. Same with NVIDIA. GT210, GT... not GT210. GT730. We're cutting support. In the middle of a fucking shortage pandemic and shit, they decided to just cut it. Big brain move from these two companies. Mm. Gee, I wonder what's my alternative. This is a lot of airflow. I am surprised with how chill my hand is when I put it in here. Right, now, this, inserting the hard drive. Now, you can insert it over here, but you sacrifice, well, this. You pretty much block this up, this part off. So, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna install the hard drive to the ground. How long is the screw holes? This is bloody ridiculous. You know, I'm kinda not okay putting this thing down here. Just off the fear of, oh no, it's gonna short. Hard drive installation done. Hard drives? Hard drive. Hard drives. New type of hot drives, hot drives, it comes in dry and hot. Now, to the top. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of a bit of a fail. Set the camera a bit too low for that. And I also need to connect up the motherboard, which I haven't done, which is going to be difficult because I put a graphics card already. Man, the spare screws are so useful. I do have a worry because these have these types of headers. And the only way I can make this type of headers work by connecting them to the motherboard, but I'm not sure how many headers this motherboard has. I actually don't even remember how many headers it has. I'm just hoping that it's enough. Ma, oh, there's only one of you fucking joking, there can't be. God damn it, whatever. Uh... This phone face planted. And it cracked! Amazing! That's Apple design for you there. Apple, yeah. This is an iPhone 4 that was living just fine, I just cracked the shit. Need to buy a replacement screen, replacement back door. Hmm, fucking perfect now. That sounded hard and I know what was going to happen. That happened, exactly. What a fucking pain. <sighs> right, enough enough bashing Apple, continue building. Man, I'm fucking blind with this light. I want this to be the most unsatisfying feel in the world, so let's go. Oh boy! 